Today, using After Effects, we're going to show you how to make a object such as a moon orbit a planet. It'll look up something like this. Other methods I've seen actually were kind of jumpy, so I created my own method. First thing we're going to do is a new composition, so we'll go ahead and composition, new composition. I'm using HDTV 1080 29.7 with 1920 by height 1080, 29.97 frames per second, and running two minutes. Composition, new composition, done that, new, solid, black, space is black. Um, for stars, you can download one or create your own. I have one pre-made already. Noise and grain. Fractal noise. I have a star field. And my background, so I'll go ahead and rename that background. Background stars. Um, I'll need a planet to orbit around. In my case, I go ahead and new solid. Something other than black. Take blue, the circle. Effect. Perspective. CC sphere. Go ahead and adjust the light so it's in the middle. Bring down the intensity or sent to the light. Go ahead and drop this down to 100 and make it a 3D layer. Go ahead and create a new camera. The only way we're going to operate in 3D is with the camera. Um, I use by default 35 millimeters. Now, next part. We're going to need to create a perfect circle. By doing that, we'll go to Composition, New Composition. We're going to change this to 1000, and the height of 1000, so we have a perfect square. Under Tools, go up to this. If you don't see that there, you're going to Alt-click your way through it until you have an ellipse. You double-click, Edit, Undo, New, Solid, something other than black, so you can see that the mask has actually occurred. We'll go ahead and use white, because it's completely opposite of black. And double click, and you have a circle. Under masks here, you go ahead and go to mask path, highlight it, edit, copy. Go back to the original comp, new, solid, we just um, to create another planet or something. We'll just make it red. Effect, perspective, CC sphere. Again, we'll go ahead and change the light so it's covering it. Bring up the intensity a bit. Make it a 3D layer. Under the options, we're going to go down to Transform, Highlight Position, and Edit Paste. Now you see what we have. Um, it's very close together, so just click anywhere and just drag this out. In this case, we'll go for about 15 seconds. You'll see it goes around in a circle, which is what we wanted to do, just not that way. Go ahead and bring its radius down to about 50. Because I'm going to never be bigger than this planet. And go ahead and go ahead and go to the stopwatch by positions. Alt, right click. Under here, go to properties. Loop out. By clipping and loop out, it will. It'll go around continuously. Now, to get it to go the other way, it's 
kind of a trick. We're going to go to New and create a null object. Make it 3D. And we're going to go ahead and parent this to the null object. By clicking the pick whip. New object. We're going to go to transform. We're going to change the orientation to 270. So the orbit's there. The orbit will go that way. And to set the planet back up again, orientation 90. behind the planet and it's constantly going behind the planet it does kind of look a little biggish coming around the front there so we might just go ahead and drop the radius down to about 40 or 30 and uh, a quick RAM preview And there you have it, a sphere that circles another sphere. Hope this was enjoyable and simplistic enough. If you need the settings for the star field to create for the background, um, go ahead and leave a message. Um, and have a nice day.